welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing video of multiple figures. This is, I think this is like the first uh, figure series that I've completed. Actually, no, it's not. Um, I did not complete this figure series actually and I will tell you why after I introduce which figures I am unboxing. So today I'm going to be unboxing the hobby stock figures of Free. I have <laughs> all the characters except for one and that is Sosuke because I did not care to get Sosuke honestly. It's not that I couldn't really find him, it's that I didn't care for him to be honest in the series i didn't really like him that much so i just skipped out on him altogether uh but i do have the main the main five i have haru rin um makoto rei and even nagisa so <laughs> nagisa if you guys don't know is literally the hardest one to find out of all of them I don't know what it is it might be the pose that he's in is more is more dynamic than the rest of them and you'll know what I mean once I unbox the figures so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and unbox these guys please make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and yeah let's get started okay so first up I think we're gonna start with our main boy Haru so here is the box from the front it's this clear box. I think it's actually a pretty nice box. You have the picture of the figure right here on, on the side. I don't think it needs that much of a design. You've got the logo here because it is a swimming anime and this whole box makes it feel like, like this water aesthetic. And yeah, I think it's a great box to be honest. Better than the Eastern boxes that <laughs> don't even try at all. Um, but okay, so here we go. I am so happy I have these figures, you guys. Uh, Nagisa especially, because he was part of my holy grail list. Okay, here we go. These guys, except for Nagisa, are all new. Okay, he looks pretty good. So far, he's got that Iwatobi jacket on, uh, and it looks like he's got some goggles to go with him. I think they all do, as a matter of fact. Okay, so first up we have the base. It's just a clear base, which, I mean, usually I feel a little meh about it, but it is a swimming anime, and I feel like it just embodies the aesthetic of <laughs> the show it's from. And it has his full name on there with... Uh, a little splash design of water. I think he looks so cool. Okay, and I like how it's a small base. I don't like big bulky bases, especially when they're not necessary. So he's all wrapped up in his plastic. His head comes off. So if you buy this figure and his head falls off, don't be scared because I just had a mini heart attack. I don't know if you caught it on camera, but I did. Okay, and there he is. So he is just this static figure. I mean, there's nothing really special to his pose, but the figure itself is a really nice figure for the, I think, for at least the time it came out and for what it is. And I think it's kind of better than all the other previous uh, free figures that are out there. So, really neat figure. You can like see the shading to his abs and then like his neck. I think that's really awesome that they did that. His hands are pretty nice too. Got a little bump there. Oh, he does come with his uh, goggles too. So, if you want to put it on, you just pop his head off again, put it around his neck, which I do think I'm gonna keep like that because A, I know I'll lose it if I don't keep it on there, uh, and B, I think it just makes it look much better. So we're gonna keep his goggles on and move on to the next figure. Okay, so next up we have Makoto 
sorry for the glare but there he is all the boxes are pretty much the same they have their names written across here with the same design everything overall is all similar um and then yeah picture of the figure and the pose and all the same this feels so nostalgic opening them up i haven't watched free since like high school <laughs> Okay, so we have his base, which is the same as Haru's, but it's green. They're all they're all different colors, I believe. Um, I'm guessing Rin's is gonna be red, so. Okay, I'm just gonna put his goggles on. His goggles have a green tint to them. And there he is. He looks fantastic. I honestly love the folds going on on the back of his jacket. Even though this isn't really like a dynamic pose, I think giving them this flowy jacket gives it a little more life. <laughs> so it's not too boring. The hair sculpt, the eyes, they look so identical to the, if not exact, to the actual series. So I, I'm really picky about that at times. So I'm so glad that uh, they nailed this figure. So then let's go ahead and put him on his base and we will move on to the next figure. Look at that, they're so cute. Okay. Okay, so now we are gonna move on to Ray. Again, same box. I don't know if I should keep showing the box. I'm probably not, <laughs> but uh, this is the last one I'll show, but they're all pretty much the same, you guys, just different colors. And of course, different their names on there and the picture of the figure on the side. But that is Ray. Let's go ahead and open him up. I actually bought Rin, uh, Makoto, and Haru all together as a bundle on uh, Makari Japan. And it was for a really good deal, you guys. So all I had to do after that was get Ray, which I found him almost right away for a good price. And then... Um, Nagisa, which took me a while. So I've had the four for a while just sitting on my shelf, uh, still in its box, because uh, I wanted to do an unboxing of these, but I didn't want to do it without Nagisa. I just wanted to complete the set and then do an unboxing, so I'll finally get to do that or complete the set. Then we have the base, and Ray is purple, so we have the purple little splash on there I don't even know if you can like read it properly but that is Ray he has <laughs> I love this hold on let me put the goggles on him first okay so here is Ray he has that infamous uh, glasses pose that I absolutely love when anime characters do it's so funny never gets old you can see the sculpt of his abs great love it um, he's our butterfly swimmer even on his back Again, the jacket is lovely. I also wanted to mention that there is a texture like on his zipper and On all of their zippers actually But you can actually feel it and to the touch actually feels like a real zipper So I thought that was pretty neat his goggles did come. I don't know if it's just mine but his goggles in the middle seem to have a little piece it's not broken, but it looks like it's going to, <laughs> honestly, but that's fine. Goggles are optional. I absolutely love him. I think he looks great, honestly. I love this pose and everything. I think it suits him so well. So we're gonna put him on his base and then put him to the side and move on to the next one. I'm trying to clean as I go. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want to unbox Nagisa first or Rin because Nagisa is part of like their school but then at the same time it's like the finale because he was the hardest to find but I think I'll just go ahead and unbox him or you know what no we're gonna unbox Rin first Nagisa is our finale he also seems to be the best one out of all of them in terms of poses so he will be last Okay, so first up we have his base. Again, same thing as the rest, even though he's from a different school, still the same. 
Tez Rin Matsuoka. And then we have our dear Rin right over here. My favorite character in the series, um, other than Momo, he looks fantastic, you guys. He's got that attitude, uh, sassy side look, looking like a whole ass model. He's got the sculpt on his abs. He looks fantastic. The side look, I love the hair, the shading at the top to the bottom. It is a little bit harsh. I think it's picking up on camera, but in person you can't really tell all that much. I don't know why it's showing it so harsh on camera, but yeah he looks fantastic i love it i think they nailed him he looks so freaking good okay and then we'll put him on his base and then move on to the next one he looks good these figures by the way i forgot to mention are 1 8 scales uh, i am going to show a nagi size box just because it is a little different in the fact that it is much bigger because of the pose that he's in so yeah, that's the front of the box. They're all clear though. They all, everything else is the same. Yeah, everything else is the same. So let's get to unboxing him. Oh, he is, he is pre-owned actually. Um, just cause the newer ones are pretty pricey. So are the pre-owned ones, but it's it's less of a impact to your wallet than the new ones okay oh this is so exciting oh the base is different from what i can see here too so the difference in the base is everything is the same he's a little dusty everything is the same except he has a metal peg right over here the others did not his goggles are actually on him the seller left them on perfect don't need to do anything with that he came in safely which i am 100 percent thankful for thank god um he looks great no damages he's like new he's pretty much new you guys um so as you can see his pose again is more dynamic than the others so i'm guessing that's the reason why he's more expensive and harder to find his hair is absolutely phenomenal I love these almost like red tips, orange, red, blood orange <laughs> tips that he has throughout his hair. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, hopefully, but he looks absolutely great. I think this embodies Nagisa and his personality and his character in general so well. I love him. Uh, Nagisa was actually my very first favorite free character, so I'm so glad I have him. He is the baby of the group. Uh, unless you watched free that free parody oh my god <laughs> I forgot what it was called if any of you guys have watched free in the past or were a huge fan of it did anybody or does anybody remember that free parody where Nagisa was like a pimp I loved it so much but yeah here he is and since he is the baby like I was trying to explain he is pretty much like the baby of the group he doesn't have that much sculpt in his abs because again he is the baby he has those little shorts. Oh my god, I just realized Ray <laughs> doesn't have, uh, god, I'm blanking on the name, but those, those underwear type uh, swimsuits. I, I, think it, <laughs> I think it's better, honestly, the way that they executed it without, but uh, yeah. I think Nagisa looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm so happy that I have him. He looks so great everything about this yeah it's got to be one of my or it is my favorite figure out of all of them uh let's go ahead and put him on the base let's see how he sits if he sits properly on the base hopefully he does he does he snapped right in i am a little bit worried that he's gonna oh he's a little like wiggly on there i don't know if you can see that i'm not going to like keep on doing it but uh, I'm a little worried that he, he doesn't seem too heavy for, I don't know, I'm just, I'm worried that he's going to like fall over. So those are the free figures, I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know your thoughts on Sasuke because I didn't get him because I did not like him at all in the series, I don't remember, like, I don't remember liking him 
for even a second in that series even though I found out like his backstory and all I, I really don't care to be honest <laughs> but anyways please let me know what you think in the comment section below and leave and leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys